see how we are different from other teachings are we combine the best of medical knowledge of anatomy and physiology and bring you the best of knowledge of yoga philosophy in one platform. So in uh, Tadasana, the erector spinae trapezius rhomboid are, these muscles are working in a such a way that the upper body is kept straight, upright and the psoas muscles and gluteus muscles are holding the pelvic position and quadriceps tensor fascia lata that is the sides of your fascia and gluteus medius muscles are holding your spine upright to give you a perfect standing position. In this there is a shortening of hamstrings, gluteus maximus and in internal oblique muscles and there is an elongation or lengthening of erector spinae, iliopsoas and rectus femoris. If you are able to name these things and understand where it is inserted and originated and how these muscles functions and in correlation with asanas which asana there is a pelvic moment where there is a iliopsoas change. For example, when you are doing Raja Kapot asana, I am sitting like this. I might not be doing perfect Raja Kapot asana, but when I am doing the, like this, there is a definite flexion at your hip joint and there is an extension of your spine. So, we need to learn, learn and understand the yoga in correlation with asanas like this. Hope you, these classes are important and it is value added for your yoga training and yoga therapy.